more exciting moment to end with. So how many people here have experienced Pizza Slab? Yeah! Yeah! So, there is a whole piece in the book about how, oh I love this uh, for Pizza Slab, about how Pizza Slab started. I, Damon, do you want to say something? I, we were just talking about how great it would be to slap someone with a slice of pizza. And, and I mean, we were, we were, you know, like when, you, when you're doing um, art for years and years and years, you have good years and you have bad years, and that's just like life, so we were having a bad year. Um, and, um, you know, and, and you know, one way that we were dealing with our bad year was like just, you know, visualizations, right? Like that's positive, so we were just visualizing how much better we feel if we were slapping people with pizza. Um, and then we were like, you know what? Like we're we're we gonna make this dreamers. happen. We're action yes. takers. Like yes. we, we make shit happen. And yes. so Pizza Slap was born. This is it was a very achievable dream. And then we did um, and then we did another version of Pizza Slap that was an homage to now Bustamante, who did a piece called In Digerito in San Francisco in the nineties. Um, at a time when it was the you know 500 years of colonization, and so all um, all these POC artists felt this pressure to make art that commented on that. Um, like when, re traumatizing. Yeah. You could only get grant money if you were talking about yeah. like, fucking colonization. 500 yeah. Years. As opposed to doing whatever that. the fuck you wanted. Right. And so she did this piece where she straps on a burrito and invites people, um, uh, white men in the audience, or anyone with an inner white man in the audience. Yeah to come up and take a bite of the burrito um, as a step towards atonement for um, 500 years of colonization. So now Bustamante, one of my uh, guiding goddesses. So we rolled up um, slices of pizza in strap-ons and um, did that for people to come up and you know make a step towards atoning for misogyny and femphobia. It's a great photo in the book of this yeah. happening. It's pretty awesome. Um, so we'd like to close out tonight with a little old pizza slap. Why not? I don't know how we're going to do this. I'll shoot you. Well, I was thinking about that photo in the book, um, and I know that Guy enjoys a pizza slap, so we should just invite him up here right now, right? Guy. Yeah. Okay, come here. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! Wait till you. So in the in the piece where we're talking about pizza slap and about the homage to a digerito, um, the first person who comes to the stage, right? We're like, come up to the stage, and the people come to the stage, and we're like, what's your name? You're gonna atone for misogyny and femphobia. What's your name? And he says, I'm Guy. <laughs> Genders, right? It's not yeah. necessarily a punishment. Like people yeah. have certainly like gotten pizza. We pizza slapped uh, Lulu in to Heels on Wheels when yeah. uh, we enjoyed. <laughs> that was a welcoming family style pizza slap. Uh, the yeah. gave us uh, the what she called like the whirly gig or the whirlwind, where like multiple pieces of pizza are held like towards you and you twirl your own self, sort of self slapping. <laughs> Um, but yeah, pizza slap can be a celebration, it's all consensual. You yeah, know, so, so we thought stuff. that we would pizza slap in our book, right? This is yeah. our book launch. This like is a celebratory are, pizza we slap. We are celebrating, yeah. like, birthing this. So if yes. anyone else would enjoy being slapped with the slice and of pizza. And if you get slapped, you get to keep the slice of pizza. Yeah, you get the pizza afterwards, so I that's see, cool. Yeah, I see, yeah, and some hungry people. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
chair. I think we should we'll talk, start on both sides. So instead, I'll start over here. And you're standing there asking what this is about? Wow. It's my turn. It's your face. What's your face? Thank you all very much. 